Hi everybody, I hope everybody have a good day. Today we are going to present a paper titled A Predictive Performance Measurement System for Decision Making in the Supply Chain. We are Lorraine Sanchez Jimenez and Tomas Salais Fierro from Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo León, Mexico. The agenda for today is divided in five parts. Introduction, literature review, methodology, results, and conclusion. We are going to try to explain the approach that we follow in order to, to build a system to measure the supply chain performance. So, measuring supply chain performance can help us uh, to, to increase customer satisfaction, inventor, to reduce the inventory, and to improve. Uh, the utilization of our resources. So, in order to to have a better integ integration uh, of the supply chain, it's good to have some kind of system to measure the performance and then to have uh, evidence of any fail in the process of our supply chains. So the, the then performance measurement is a process of quantitative or qualitative assessment the effectiveness and efficiency of a business activity or process. So it's very important to see what is the current status of the company and then improve it and the variables that we are um, or metrics that we care are cost agility responsiveness flexibility and sustainability according to Lima Journal and Ribeiro in 2017 so what are the problems that we found in the literature review that we found in this area uh, about metrics where the problems are since there are not excessive metrics and on the other side there are lack of development metrics in other parts also we have uh, insufficient feedback from this, this indicator so in some kinds we, we use indicators that there are no actual there are no the ones that the company needs so we we are proposing to f uh, this objective. The objective is improve business decision making through a predictive performance measurement system to access supply chain performance. In other words, we want to to build a system, a measurement system that can use r uh, actual indicators actual key performance indicators that can help a decision maker to take uh, to make decision in order to improve the the process in in, in their supply chains as a first part we made uh, some literature review where we found uh, the to, to build uh, uh, this kind of measurement system, uh, researchers or practitioners use three elements. And the, the, the main uh, elements came from artificial intelligence techniques. And the most popular for this kind of application are the fossil logic. Uh, other uh, findings that we, we had are that from the several methods of techniques they use the most popular are the analytical hierarchical process called AHP and the model that the uh, practitioner and researchers um, use are the is the score the score is the most popular among practitioner and uh, researchers. What is the score? 
where a score unifies terms and gives a standard format to describe the supply chains. Evaluation process with appropriate uh, ever key performance indicators. So since we we had this, we decide to have a hybrid model where we we can use or we use a score model for CSHP and a fuzzy inference system. So in this we build a methodology and the methodology is a classic four phases uh, when we build a project. So that this phases is first of all we define the objectives or a study or what is the problem. Then we make some benchmark or literature review to know where is the uh, researchers and, uh, and practitioners use in, and were interested they uh, or were considered more important to to study so we, uh, with this we determine the metrics then we build a model and once the model is built we came up with the application in order to to analyze and to uh, give some recommendation. Uh, uh, with this work, we have uh, some results with preliminary results where we are going to explain in the, in the first part after the, the literature review, we found several indicators and we pick six indicators. Uh, we pick indicators from the the workshops by the expert where we we interview or by basically we we uh, made a survey where they answer that software and and they they uh, and with several indicators but we choose the ones that they consider more important that's uh, this one are preferable fulfillment upside supply chain adaptability, cash to cash cycle time, return on working capital, total supply chain management costs, and order fulfillment cycle time. These are the indicators that the expert tell us are more important. Then they cons they uh, they were matched with the indicators that the literature review came up that were more important. In, in then we match both both kinds of indicator and finally we well we, we give uh, some, some kind of score and we select this six indicator because we're the one that have the highest score or higher than five then we, we use these five indicators to build the model and use first of all in, in one in the first uh, fuzzy inference system the first fuzzy inference system can act with the assessment management then in the second fuzzy inference system we use agility relativity responsiveness and cost responsiveness and cost to build the second fast inference system combine where we combine the rule base that were based were based based in fuzzy analytical hierarchical process techniques then we finally we obtain the supply chain performance we give some uh, analysis uh, Simulating the, uh, several scenar scenarios and came with a conclusion. Well, the, the process that we followed in in this in this system were first of all, we just we apply to ex to the expert the FOSI AHP. Then the results of the FOSI AHP came that the cost where the, the element that impact more 
in the Porsche scenario. The Porsche, in Porsche scenario where the area will select to, to prove the system. Then the reliability, responsiveness, access management, and finally agility. In this order, were the importance of this indicator. With these results, we apply the fuzzy inference system. So the fuzzy inference system consists in two parts. The first part where applying the fuzzy stand rules to find the asset management, then we use the asset management in combination with agility, reliability, responsiveness, and cost variables to apply a second fuzzy inference system. And finally, we obtain the supply chain performance. For the first fuzzy inference system, we obtain, well, we build the fuzzy rules and then we obtain a uh, results. Then the fuzzy inference rules we we build uh, several the uh, scenarios and we apply in in a software. This uh, in, in this case uh, we use the MATLABs. Uh, then we according to the combination of the inputs, we obtain uh, several results. For instance, in this uh, in this input, we 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 put as an example the cash to cash time were seven, the return of working capital were a ten. We we obtain an asset management of say of six point six seven. Um, in the second fast inference system. Well, we apply the five variables, reliability, agility, responsibility, cost, asset management. We, uh, we build several rules, in total three two rules to build the inference system. And depends on the inputs, we obtain an output. For, for instance, in this example, we use a uh, reliability num number nine, agility six, responsiveness six, cost A, and assessment 6.67. Then we obtain a performance in this area of 7.2. So this is where the preliminary results. We, we use several uh, scenarios and we, we made some graphics to to show what is the impact of the cost. So, why cost? Because we found that the cost were the uh, the very variable the impact more in this in the performance of this area in, in the purchase scenario. Well, as a conclusion of this work, we found that the model and the result reinforce the proposition that the adoption of the Let's say a hybrid predictive system based on the metrics and attributes of the score model with the FOSI SHP for way allocation and a FOSI inference system for evaluation approach to be a viable techniques to assist managers in the decision making process of supply chain performance management. Uh, the system give the decision maker the possibility to anticipate and make decision in order to improve the uh, the performance or to avoid any fail in, in the process. As a significant findings uh, we, we we can say that the response behavior that FOSI HSP, HSP and FOSI inference system shows that the cost attribute has the greatest impact on the purchase area and is pay attention to achieve an increase in performance. A recommendation uh, is to, to apply this system 
in a, a real cases in a real case, cases in more areas and also is, is you when is you try to reply the system uh, using more este data or, or the data a large amounts of data uh, maybe a good idea to use uh, a amphibia where where you ne never fussy approaches uh, in order to have a, a, a better results uh, even though the, the fuzz inference system give us excellent results the reference that we use are a combined uh, classical reference with uh, new application uh, to measure uh, to to measure the performance in in several areas so uh, mainly in supply chain performance so th that's all thank you and i'll be open to any question that you have about this presentation thank you